Hey, cleaning buddies. This is Cleaning Fee. Welcome back to Clean, Clear, Calm Home. As you see in the title of this video, this is the DIY of the all-in-one laundry wash bombs, you guys. These are the items you are going to need. Read this list. Pause if you have to so you can get all the, all the items that you saw in that list. And as you see here, I put everything out so you can see what I have that is going to go in this. This is really simple, you guys. And it's also so affordable because I made 88 wash bombs for under $2.50, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is way cheaper than 24 to 30 cents of how much the expensive Tide Pods and all those other pods are out there. In this video, this is what I'm showing you how it's supposed to look, how you're going to get um, the effectiveness out of your wash bombs. And it cleans your washer too, people. Oh my goodness. The, and it deodorizes. It's a deodorizer. It is a uh, stain remover, people. A fabric softener because of the vinegar that is in this. There's also peroxide. So it can get your white brighter, people. Oh my goodness. This is a true all-in-one laundry wash bomb with no plastic hot mess left on your clothing bedding towels anything like that look at this people look at these all with ice cube trays <laughs> perfect laundry wash bombs that cost hardly nothing it makes and takes about 30 minutes to make and all it is is about 24 hours to about eight hours to set people all righty and i'm going to give you a step by step this is so affordable and manageable so enjoy people while I get to show you how to do your own all-in-one laundry wash bombs, people. This is almost the same process as my um, homemade laundry detergent. This is the same thing. That was my first batch I did was with my um, own homemade laundry. All I added was the vinegar. I didn't add peroxide to that. So I have two that are one is for my colors or, or my lighter colors or my whites. I can choose but oh my god you guys I have finally tweaked and twerked this recipe so enjoy I'm gonna give you step by step step instructions so here we go hello people I'm back okay the first step we're going to do is put in the Fells naphtha um, stain remover laundry bar and then the next is our scent beads any scent beads you prefer and as you see that I just chopped up the Fells naphtha bar. I'm not even gonna grate it anymore because my food processor is gonna do all the work, people. And I let this just sit and um, grind to a, like a dust almost, like the, the same um, consistency as the washing soda and the borax. And actually in this, you won't even really have to use the borax if you don't have borax. So if you don't have that, that's okay. But you do need the washing soda. That is one of the main base parts of this uh, uh, recipe for the laundry wash bomb. You do need the washing soda. And if you don't have washing soda, people, that's okay. All you do is heat your oven to 400 degrees and if you have baking soda put your baking soda in a shallow cookie sheet or a shallow pan and heat that up for one hour make a uh, make a flat layer spread it all out on a, a cookie sheet in a 400 degree oven and heat that up for one hour then after one hour stir it all around and then heat for another hour at 400 degrees and there you have your washing soda people so i'm giving you all kind of tips and even cheaper ways to do this because it is too expensive for our clothes to be ruined by these expensive ass laundry pods being stuck plastic hot messes on our clothing bedding towels anything you can name i'm drying my back with a towel and i'm back is getting scratched up like wolverine nobody don't have time for that no and then by the time you catch it it's already too late it's ruined your clothing okay but anyways i digress people <laughs> so the first thing i do 
as I uh, and use a processor if you have one. This made the process go so much faster. I'm also using this for my uh, every day when I do make my uh, my laundry detergent. I'm not using my blender anymore, people. I am actually using uh, my food processor now because it makes it so much quicker. So what I just did is I had ground the scent beads and uh, my uh, Fells naphtha soap. And then next is the washing soda. There's two cups of washing soda. Uh, one and a half cups of... That is two cups of the LA Awesome. That is from Dollar Tree, people. If you can find that, please do, because that was only $1.25. That's how it kept my cost down to these laundry wash bombs to three cents a wash bomb. Can you believe that? Compared to 24 to 30 cents a wash bomb, people. But so what I'm doing is so I can mix all this together. You don't have to do that even if you grate the soap. But I recommend that you guys try to chop this the fells nap the bar down as much as you can because you want these to be all fine because this makes it super. This makes it a, a actual wash bomb, people. And I have there um uh, Epsom salt. And that Epsom salt has coconut oil. I suggest you get a scented um either with lavender, spearmint, peppermint, anything that is a scented Epsom salt. And you can also use plain. It's up to you. And also, since I use scent beads, I also used my essential oils. You don't have to do that either. But you know I love scents, people. So here I have, the, these are my uh, essential oils. And it is lavender, tangerine, and lemongrass. And oh my goodness, people. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So I added that to the washing soda, baking soda, Epsom salt. There is a half a cup of Epsom salt in there. And there's a washing soda. That's two cups of washing soda. One and a half cups of borax. And, um, and also there is one and a half cups of baking soda. You don't have to use the baking soda also. But it is in here because we're going to use vinegar and peroxide. This is why they are the laundry wash bombs, people. And they work. When you talk about whitening your whites, brightening your colors, oh my goodness. And you won't have any residue because you want this to be the consistency of sand, not wet sand. But of sand, almost like the kinetic sand. We know what kinetic sand is if we have children out there, people. But yes, I'm mixing all of this together after I've already mixed the soap and the scent beads and the washing soda, four racks, Epsom salt. So these are all of my dry ingredients along with the, the uh, essential oils already added. So I'm mixing this. And for me, I go right back inside of the food processor because you know I like that store-bought consistency, even ground even better than the store-bought consistency. These are all non-toxic items and safe people. I believe you can't get borax in the UK, so that's okay. Because you can, as long as you have your washing soda, I've already told you how to make your own washing soda if you cannot find the washing soda. And a lot of these items I already got from um, either Dollar Tree or uh, Walmart but yes people so I give it another grind and get that all ground up because the next step will be to add our wet and that will be so get you uh, four ounces of vinegar and four ounces of water add that to a spray bottle because we will be spraying the tops of the ashtrays ashtrays <laughs> oh lord ice trays once we put these and get these uh, this our items in as a uh, as sand people and so with the vinegar and the peroxide added in but alrighty so we're gonna get to that and so we're okay and once we get all of this mixed up people to the consistency that I like I believe I cut away from here but I couldn't believe how affordable and I scoured YouTube Google on uh, laundry wash pods. I just got after I had washed a blanket of one of my favorite um, throws that was on my bed, and I noticed after a while, I noticed on the corner that it was a little mash, little nappy spot. I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, I'm so tired of those little 
Lord have mercy. I've seen so many nightmares online with these laundry pods too, people. I know y'all have too. And this was supposed to be an efficient all-in-one. That ain't this all all-in-one mess. That's what that stuff is. And what I'm adding here, people, I believe that is my peroxide. That is the peroxide that I've added in. And that is the vinegar that I added all in. That was the four ounces of vinegar. And that was a half a cup of um, peroxide, of hydrogen peroxide. And so I mix that up and I go in there with a glove here so I can really get this um, mixed up together to look like sand and I'm gonna show you as I mix it up you're gonna see how it turns because when you put the vinegar it, it will bubble up so that's the process it's supposed to take because that's the chemical reaction that the peroxide and the the vinegar is doing but that's where you get your your power for your power of cleaning and and then also for your fabric stuff so if you forget to put fabric softener don't worry about it people because Fab, um, vinegar is a white distilled vinegar is a natural uh, water softener so it's also it's a fabric softener so your clothes are gonna be soft and they're gonna smell good they're gonna be clean child they really gonna be clean so even kids clothes have been hey they work I actually have used them myself I do show so I will show you I will probably I might add it but I've believe I'm trying to okay I'm showing you guys now this is the spray bottle with the mixture of the half and half of vinegar and water so it has to be half and half it can't be a little bit of this and a little no it has to be half and half water it has to be either four ounces of water and four ounces of vinegar like that it has to be half and half mixture and so um, I put that in the spray bottle to kind of I'm telling you to get this to a consistency of sand or like kinetic sand to where it holds together. It's not going to be a wet um, sand. It won't even feel really moist. You can't tell when you ha your hand is in a glove. And I do can um, um, disclaimer on this part because please wear a mask because these particles, if you do decide to mix them all again in your food processor the dust will go in the air and irritate your um sinuses so please i'm spraying again because i need to get this where it needs and i start you guys out with the four ounces but you will add a little bit more slowly but surely so you can get that consistency that i'm telling you that you need <clears throat> excuse me I hope everyone is doing well. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed my laundry motivation video. You guys have gotten that. Now, right now, you guys need to... I added a little bit more peroxide because, hey, that's going to be a, a whitener and brightener, y'all. And that Oxy, you can also use OxyClean. I, it, it, if you can already have OxyClean, even better because that brings your cost down in this even more. To where you might only have to buy a dollar twenty-five or something, you guys. Alrighty. Okay, people. I am still working until I get it to that consistency that you see. Um, that is kinetic sand that I put up there, so you guys can see what consistency that it should hold together, but not be really wet and runny because it's almost it doesn't really feel it moist because see what the white distilled vinegar does is it puffs up the epsom salt that is in there and you can also make your own scent booster people i do have a recipe for your own scent booster that will be two cups okay that'll be two cups of epsom salt a half a cup of baking soda and your preferred essential oils but if you want to go with the same scents that you are doing your laundry bombs in so it can have the same theme. Because I'm calling this scent that I made uh, Spring Burst. Or we can still call it Spring It On. But I call it Spring Burst. With the lavender, lemongrass, and tangerine. It smells so good, people. And already with those scent boosters that I've added in there and had um, ground even finer inside of the uh, food processor. 
But again, people, uh, your own preference, again, for that homemade laundry scent booster, two cups of Epsom salt and a half a cup of baking soda and mix that up with your preferred essential oils. And oh my goodness, it's better than the store-bought. It just smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. And then you, all oh, this is homemade. It's safe, it's non-toxic. And you know what you put in your items. But people, the benefits of, not even the benefits of it, but um, just what washing soda does on a, on a basis. It's just, um, it's the distilled form of baking soda. Fun little tidbit to know. But there you go. You see how that is holding together, people? That is the look that I was going for. So now it is ready for it to go into the ice cube trays. Now I got these ice cube trays from Amazon. I will link them below. And they have a silicone bottom, so they're easy once the laundry wash bombs dry it takes sometimes it takes just about four hours i have worked at this recipe because when i first made them i used my own uh homemade laundry detergent that i had already made and just added the peroxide i didn't add the peroxide i added the vinegar so you can just do that if you don't have peroxide that is okay but it is preferred if you want to use as a whitener brightener that is like OxyClean. So you're also putting the OxyClean in uh, LA's Totally uh, Oxygen, which is the same as OxyClean, but that's also like the peroxide. So you get my gist. We getting super power, double power on everything, you guys. <laughs> but you fill those, uh, I, any ice cream, tr ice cream, ice cube trays you have. I had actually three different sizes, people. I had a small, because I had a smaller, uh, skinnier one. So I made me some for small loads because usually my whites are small. I have small loads that I made. So I had two ice cube trays of the small loads, two ice cube trays of that is the regular that you see that I have pressed within the ice cube tray and you see how it is kind of flaking off you don't want it really moist like I said or runny so you do want it like sand and you see how yes yeah, so you still want to have it make sure it's like that sand how I showed you the kinetic sand was and just wipe off the excess and um, continue to fill all of your ice trays up but people, this is such a money saver and it works even better than uh, the actual store-bought laundry pods. These are laundry, all in one laundry wash bombs. And that is the vinegar and water half and half that I'm spraying on the top of those ashtrays. There I go again, there I go again. <laughs> mind me child okay again as you see you see how it is it's like almost like a snow but continue to fill all of your um your ice cube trays i had to really say that slowly but again this made 88 bombs because i had two different three two different three different sizes i had i just showed you guys that and this made 88 you can also cut down this recipe. That was my first attempt with my own uh, detergent. The second attempt is there because the first attempt was with the egg crate. And of course the third attempt is the charm because I got the um, consistency that I needed to where it will actually break up in the washer because the first one was a trial and error because it um, some of it would not break up all the way. It was still a little bit hard and I think that was the ratio of everything that I was putting in there. But now that I have it, I am sharing it with you guys. And again, this is such a, a money saver. And I hope you guys share this with anybody, everybody, anybody, everybody. And again, hit that like, subscribe, and again, ring my bell so you can know when I post new videos and upload anything new. Again, um, people hit that like. You guys aren't hitting that like enough. Go ahead and hit it now. I'm waiting. Okay, people. But, <laughs> and it's free, y'all. Almost done. Continue now. This is the large size ice trays. 
here. So this is the size you're going to see um, that I had already showed you. So just continue again, like I said, until all of your ice trays are filled. And uh, again, I've told you all the, the great, uh, it's non-toxic, it's safe for the family, it's great for brightening your whites, um, and everything, people, it's just safe. You can have it run in as great in top loaders. Oh my goodness, it's great in top loaders, but mine is a front loading, and it's still great in that. I told you I had to work this recipe out, you guys, to where I have no residue, of, and then it got smaller and smaller. On my second attempt of doing the laundry uh, wash bombs, it also uh, it just left a little bit, but it crumbled up really well. So I just saved those pieces, and as I showed you at the very beginning. Um, that I made, uh, there was leftover flakes, so I caught they were cracked off, so I called them detergent crackers. So I'll add that in with my laundry. I'll also show you uh, my husband's shoes to give you guys that I washed his Chuck Taylors, uh, his all white Chuck Taylors, and oh my goodness, you guys did wash them so well. You guys stay to the end of this. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys understood this. This voiceover was kind of crazy. Hey, I, when I feel the moment, I can't. I can write it out, but I can't actually stay to what I'm gonna do because I just let it be organic, people. And I know it's been a while, but I wanted to make this perfect for everybody to understand and get, and also to save money. And thanks again if you have subscribed and if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. Consider subscribing, people. I have so much more to bring to you guys. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm just going to have it. It's motivation. I do all things home motivation and inspiration, you guys. Alrighty, we're going to get to the drying time, people. And here is the finished product. And they have all been sprayed with the uh, half and half of vinegar and water. And so now they're setting to dry and the next day you will also get that end result to where we will pop them all out of the trays people because I've even scoured those and a lot of times they already showed you what they had I give you full fully through so this took me two days and well to in full to even do this uh, voiceover people it's taken me three days to do this for you guys which it has been like almost three weeks <laughs> since I last posted I'm sorry people but you know me I'm not consistent but when I bring it out I bring it out to you guys uh, banging there you go and again hit that like subscribe and look at those people look at them and they work I've given them to my co-workers and everything people they work and they smell so good oh my goodness oh my goodness but look at how they just pop you see what I'm talking about how they just pop right out of, of these ice trays it was just so easy you can even just give it a little doop and it'll pop out but I was just showing you see it? all the flakes that are flaking off. I saved every bit. I didn't waste anything, people. As we are, it's too much money. It's just muy caro. Muy caro. It doesn't make any sense, people. It just ticks me off to the highest of tickstivity. Makes me hotter than fish grease. <laughs> but I hope that you also, that I gave you a, a, a homemade scent booster. That was two cups of Epsom salt and half a cup of baking soda with your preferred essential oils. How easy is that? How inexpensive is that? These are items that you would already have in your home, people. Already in your home. I'm just bringing them to you because I was like, oh, oh, my cleaning buddies are gonna love this. And it saves you money. <laughs> Don't let me start beatboxing here. Come on now, y'all. There's too much going on in this world. Any way I can help y'all, y'all can help me. Like it. Also, comment, y'all. Come on and comment. And again, hit that like, hit that thumb right now. And look at this. These are, this is my small load. That was my regular load that I had popped all out. Those were the two trays of the regular loads. Now, this is the small load of the 
laundry wash bombs. And again, the lavender ones were of my, already of my homemade. And again, people, no soap soap. If you notice, there was no soap soap. It was only the Fells Naphtha. The Purex Fells Naphtha laundry bar soap. That's the only one. Because of the centronella that is inside of the um, soap soap, it's not needed. It'll make it too oily to mix with the... I learned that from my first attempt, people, is that's how I learned that it was too oily from the soap soap and the uh, Fells naphtha, it was too much. So you don't need that. And also it did not set right also and also I put tops over the top of it and that was not needed. You have to leave these uncovered and dried how I showed you how I had did that. Here is the second. Um, tray for the small loads and this is the second one and this had a uh, 16 this was a 16 uh tray cube uh ice cream ice cube tray and uh the regular size is a 14 and also my large size load is 14 uh ice cube tray yes the one that i just placed on top from amazon is the ones that are just 14 and the small loads are 16 but you see how much smaller those are and those are perfect for my uh small loads people i mean this is just great you don't have to do this you can even just fill your the ice trays up just halfway if you want just small loads or if your trays are about that size these are my large size loads um people that i have so i have three different sizes i have 88 laundry wash bombs all for under two dollars and fifty cents it was two dollars and forty six cents three cents a bomb three to five cents a bomb a wash bomb you guys and this cleans your washer out did i tell you guys that as it's cleaning your clothes because of the baking soda and it removes odors and everything this is y'all y'all uh tide pods don't say that they don't do that. It, uh, it, we know all the nightmares with that, but here you go, people. This was my ones that I, the first, my second attempt of them. You see, there you go there. And I showed you from my powder. That's what I'm showing you right there from my own uh, detergent. But there's no Zote soap. Remember, people, no Zote soap. Only the Fells Nacta. Only the Fells Napa, and I prefer that if you were to get the Epsom salt, if you can find a scented one. If you cannot, if you have essential oils, that's even better. But you, I'm showing you the difference between my uh, second attempt of my uh, laundry bombs and the last attempt of one that is the recipe has been perfected, people. That I have finally, because there's a whole other video, and I don't think I'll ever put that out. Now I actually have space <laughs> on my uh, phone to do more videos for you guys and put the rest of these videos that I have just sitting here banked and waiting to be edited for all this cleaning, motivation, and organization, and everything else, people, that I have promised y'all. So I'm not going to tell you I'm going to be consistent. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to come out. It's just when you see it, you're going to be excited because I'm going to be excited too, people, because you know I like to do this. But I do have one coming up for the organization of my little closet. And look at them and their people. Look at them. Look at them. So in total, what I actually have from my first attempt to my second to, my, uh, to this third attempt, I have over... 212 laundry bombs, laundry wash bombs, people. And that was all for under $8. All for under $8. Do you hear me? What I'm telling you, people, that's cheaper than the laundry box. They're charging you $40, then they're $13, $14. Are you kidding me? 80 something is 
Do you know you can get all, every one of the essential oils, washing powder, borax, baking soda, everything that you, Epsom salt, everything that you need to make these laundry wash bombs would be cheaper than uh, buying your actual Tide or whatever else name brand laundry pods. And washing soda is used in the commercial of most of our, uh, take out the middleman. So we just take out the middleman and we do it ourselves. This takes less than 30 minutes or about 30 minutes, people. I gave you a step-by-step -step process. There are my laundry detergent crackers, people. So I told you I saved every bit and I just throw all, those are all the pieces that had came off of the dried uh, laundry wash bombs from the um, ice trays. So yes, I put those in there and saved them. I told you I I recycle my, uh, my little containers and use them for other uh, things and they do get utilized. So I don't have a lot of stuff that is just sitting there and I'm not using. But yes, as you see, I am saving every little bit. Of course, I'm going to vacuum that all up, people. Please come back. Thank you again to for and welcome to Clean Clear Calm Home. I'm cleaning fee people. I like all things home. Uh, this is cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, laundry uh, folding, and inspiration, shopping hauls, uh, unboxings. A growth collaborative just things that I like in my home I'm cheap but I also like to share uh, things in recipes y'all I'm gonna start doing more little recipes and everything because I got some of those and napkins for the spring because Easter is right around the corner people so I'm gonna also have you guys some nap I'm all over the place with this because it's late people I'm trying to hurry up and get this out to you guys so you guys can get started on this for yourselves people thank you again stay safe sane and prayed up and love everyone people be positive. Positive energy brings us all happiness. Alrighty, people. I'm going to give you a test here, you guys. Alrighty. Enjoy. Okay, people. I'm going to give you the test of the Chuck Taylors that I told you that I had washed for my husband. I used the small load. Uh, of my laundry wash bomb there so I'm showing you that I'm also that is a garment bag that I use so the the shoes and the laces wouldn't get all caught up and balled up and knotted up you guys and also so the shoes wouldn't just be bouncing all around so they can kind of yeah you get the gist but I have another one for my my garments but that one I used for uh, shoes and I did not put them in a dryer I just wash them only. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't wait till you see these results, though. You see, I have the scent booster that I told you guys about. That is the scent booster. And you just need two tablespoons of the scent booster. That one I had uh, lemongrass, I believe, eucalyptus, uh, lavender, tangerine, sweet orange. Child, y'all know me. <laughs> but anyways, I put that in there. I only use the items that I have actually made. And here I am showing you guys, while that is washing, I'm showing you the breakdown of how this does. You see the little bubbles, you guys? I told you. This is a laundry wash bomb, people. I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys. I know it's been a minute, but isn't this worth it? Again, hit that like right now, people. And come on, consider subscribing if you are new here. This is what I do on this channel. I'm trying to bring y'all something to save. And also, to, that works, people. That works. You see that? You see how it broke down? And I'm going to show you here because it's not going to break all the way down because I don't have any agitation really but with me stirring. And that was in warm, just warm water. But do you see how nicely that is? So you can you imagine that in the in the washer? It's going to break all the way down, people. And it's washing and giving you all those things. You don't have to worry about putting fabric softener if you get it. Because it can just be extra soft if you put it in there. That was the first wash bomb, people, that I used 